Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you how I make my cauliflower oats that you guys ask me about all the time. So obviously I need a manicure, I have since gotten one. <laughs> Anyways, here I am, um, I'm blending up in my Nutribullet. Um, I think I have 6 to 9 ounces of cauliflower in there. I usually have to do 6 ounces first and then I'll add in more. That's probably what I'm doing right now because it doesn't all fit in there. Um, I got these florets, cauliflower florets. They're already chopped up. I got them at Trader Joe's. And there I am opening a second bag because I I literally take the, all of the bags of cauliflower florets just so I don't have to cut up cauliflower and make a disaster because cutting up cauliflower is super messy. It gets really grainy and it gets all over your kitchen. So I have them pre-cut because I am lazy as hell. Okay, so blend, blend, blend. I just pulse until it's all blended. God damn it, I need a manicure. Sorry. So this is what I do before I um, I go anywhere. I think this day I was going to Starbucks to do some work, so I was making my food ahead of time. Um, cauliflower oats hold really well, too, and you don't even have to cook them if you don't want to or make them. Um, sometimes I'll put them in the microwave after I have them all blended and everything like that, but you don't even need to. You can just, like, keep them cold. So once they're all blended up, there, that's what I'm doing there. So once they're all blended up there, I'll show you guys, look how much that is. It doesn't even fit in that bowl barely. So that's nine full ounces of blended cauliflower. Um, sometimes I'll add oats to it, but most of the time I just add my PE Science Select peanut butter cup or snickerdoodle. Those are my two favorites, as you guys already know. And I usually do between a scoop or a half a scoop, a half a scoop and a scoop, depending on my macros for the day and like what else I want to eat for the day. Obviously, blending it in um, with however much isn't really going to make a difference. It's just all about what macros that you need for the day. And then um, just to sweeten it more, just because it is very much just vegetables, um, I'll just add in some Walden Farms, either chocolate or caramel or the pancake syrup just to get a little bit more of like a sweet flavor in there because I have a crazy sweet tooth and I'd rather my foods be sweet than savory. And then I'll mix that all together. Sometimes I'll add a little water just to get a better texture. It's literally overflowing. <laughs> uh, that's awesome though because that's like that's the whole point of volume eating. You want your food to be overflowing out of the bowl so you're full. And I'm almost done licking the spoon because I can. <laughs> and there it is. It's so much. Pretty sure. Yep, goes in the microwave here. It's messy in the kitchen. Sorry. Um, I'll throw in the microwave for 30 seconds. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm topping it with cookie butter cream cheese. And um, I actually like cookie butter cream cheese better than regular cookie butter. Not necessarily like the texture or anything, because obviously regular cookie butter is delicious. But the macros on cookie butter cream cheese are a little higher fat and a little lower carb. I'll put them below. But look at the volume. That's, that's a full serving. And the macros are better. The 34 grams, that's like a full serving, and it's so thick. <laughs> so, uh, I like using that. I've been using that way more than my cookie butter. Um, I'll try to do like a half a serving or a serving a day, just because it's so good. There it is, guys.
just had a really good leg workout with my good friend Justin Lovato. He's on Instagram, Justin D. Lovato, at Justin D. Lovato. Um, I've been having amazing workouts lately. Um, I've just been like really, really feeling good connection. Um, I've had a lot of energies because I've been eating more and I up my macros, even though I was feeling a little bit like less aesthetic than I would like to. Um, my coach upped my macros anyway, and then um, a lot of people like struggle with, um, especially if you're like, coaching yourself or you don't really know what you're doing exactly a lot of people struggle with knowing when to up their macros and when it's okay to eat more food and like even just being comfortable with adding in food and like even when you're not feeling amazing you just automatically want to like do more cardio or cut your calories um, for me I noticed obviously like that has been an issue for me in the past but I noticed so much that when I'm consistent I know that my body will re-regulate and it will get used to those new numbers and it will just re-regulate um and then today is like the first day that i really really felt comfortable um and like the pictures the progress pictures you can't even really tell but just the way you feel um like if you're not feeling like super amazing it, the way you feel about how you look is really important so today is the first day that i felt like i really felt great it's a a new day not not the same day as uh, i was vlogging on my other videos that you saw in this last video however just walking outside here However, um, I showed you just uh, in the last video or so how to do um, my cauliflower oats that I make, which is basically just blended cauliflower. It's so easy. It's like I can't even call them oats because there's no oats in them half the time. It's just simply cauliflower. Um, so I made it again this morning because I am a creature of habit and I like what I like. But I did something differently this morning. Um, I did the nine ounces of cauliflower that I usually do and blend it up in the blender, but I also did a hundred grams of zucchini um, with my with, and then I like blended that up with the cauliflower. A um, hundred grams of zucchini is only three extra carbs, but but look at the volume. Look at that. So I always put my cauliflower in that circle bowl that you guys see. Um, I had to actually take it out and put it in this bigger one because it didn't fit. Look at the volume. Um, let me see. Um, nine ounces of cauliflower is 12 carbs and six fiber. And then the adding the zucchini is only three extra carbs. So you're getting 15 grams of carbs for like a very large bowl. Let's see it again. These um, brownie bits in here, uh, those are from Beachy's Bakery. Um, she sent me, she sent me her brownies to try, so I'll let you guys know how those are. So ignore that, but I do that. Um, you saw in the last video that I add in my Snickerdoodle protein powder um, to sweeten it. I also add in Walden Farm to sweeten it. I just showed you guys in the last video, but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that because. Uh, I just showed you the cauliflower oats and I just had a revelation while I was editing this rest of this video and it wasn't done yet so I was like oh my god I need to tell them. So uh, there's that and I'm going to vlog the rest of the day's food for you guys because today is a high carb day and I just got a macro increase increase, increase from my coach. Um, I'm actually like back at my stage weight again, the weight or whatever weight I was before I went to Vegas and ate the whole entire world and before I had my binging episode um, the week before that. So I've been consistent as hell, um, trying to like get back to like where I'm comfortable, not necessarily that particular weight because I am trying to gain weight and gain muscle, but um, it just goes to show that being consistent is uh, going to get you where you are regardless of what you're doing and your body gets used to macros when you reverse diet and it is a godsend um my macros are like so much higher now i'm eating about 400 to 500 calories more than i was um at the very end of my prep a day and my body has maintained its conditioning pretty well obviously like i'm not super shredded anymore um i was i'm feeling like a lot more full in my muscles now which is great i'm loving it look at this day today 
It's a cloudy morning in California. This is weird. I'm wearing like sweatpants. I'm just like curled up here, sweatpants, and like a little sweatshirt thing. It's kind of nice. It kind of feels like fall, but it's not. My neighbor makes really weird noises. We share a balcony. It's really creepy. Anyways, I'm going to show you the rest of my day's eating in the next vlog. Finish this one up with my breakfast this morning, or this is my second meal. Um, and I'll show you guys some more fun high carb foods today. Thank you for watching, guys.